Welcome. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies. Welcome to this video implementing Virtual Private Database or VPD. First we'll take a look at the background and context in which VPD exists. Then we set up for a demo, which is primarily creating an application context. And then we step through the packages and functions that the security policy needs and we create a policy, test it, and then drop it. Fine-grained access control is a building block for virtual private database. It limits row or column access, which is done with the use of a predicate that is returned from a function. So when a user enters an unqualified select statement, as in this example, then the function that is associated with the table of view and automatically executed uh, limits what the person can see. So in this example, the WHERE clause limits the manager to seeing only the employees to which they have access. This page provides the overview of what I'll show you next. Connected to SQL Plus as SysDBA, we execute some SQL Plus formatting commands. Then we create a table space for demo purposes and a user sec, which is like our security administrator. And we grant privileges to this user. Connect as the sec user and create the application context. As the sec user, we create the current AMP package and body. This is a simple example where we capture the user context and we can output the ID, name and email. Create a trigger which fires after the user logs into the database and sets the current context. Log in as this user. We set the server output on and test the system context. As SysDBA, grant the SEC user the ability to execute the package that creates policies. The DBMS alias package contains multiple procedures for you to maintain VPD policies to grant this user to be exempt from them. As the SEC user, create the package that is used by the security policy to return a predicate. If you want to see the predicate that the policy uses to limit the rows returned from the M table, you can execute the query as displayed on the screen. So how does this work? The user making the query must have an email ID that matches the database username and the AMP user attribute in this context is set equal to the employee ID of the user. So the predicate allows the user to access only the records describing this user. Optionally, check as the asking user that this user does not yet have access to the employees table. Connect as the asking user and optionally display the current context attribute. To read this statement, please pause the recording. As SEC, our security administrator, implement a VPD policy that restricts access to the SELECT command. Grant the asking user access to the employees table. Then log in as asking and execute a query without a WHERE clause to the employees table. And you see our VPD policy is in place, the user only sees his own record. As the security administrator, you want to now delete the VPD policy. But what do you have to remember to do first before doing it so that you don't create a security breach? If you're not sure, please watch the last few seconds of this video. Log on as the asking user. Execute a couple of formatting commands and then execute the unqualified query which you have used before. And because no VPD policy protects the employee table. All rows are being displayed, so the security administrator should have first revoked the select privilege and then modified the policy to not allow this to happen. This page shows you the tasks that we just covered for the security administrator. Thanks for watching.